the time has come. I have arrived. This podcast has arrived. I am here. Yes. Hello, loves. Welcome back. And if you're new to this channel, then welcome. My name is Juliet. If you did not know that, Juliet Esposito. And I am a podcaster. Podcaster, I guess makeup artist. Well, I am a makeup artist. So podcaster, makeup artist, musician, entrepreneur, all that jazz. Model, you know, philanthropist, <laughs> everything under the umbrella. I fit. All right. Um, no, but jokes aside, for real, I've just been really wanting to do a podcast for so long. I watch podcasts all the time, and I'm the girl who can seriously talk for hours. I've always got something on my mind, something to say, an opinion. Whatever it is, I just love great conversations, so why not have conversations with you guys? Hello? So easy. Uh, so, yeah, so basically this podcast, you know, we've got, well, I've got a lot in store for you guys. I'm so excited for what is seriously about to come, and I can't wait to see what this journey takes me on, for real. I'm just we're just embarking on it, and I'm just riding the waves. You know what I mean? My name is Julia Esposito, but I also go by Queen Wavy. Queen Wavy, I would say, is, like, my alter ego. We're going to just, like, hop right into it. Um, Queen Wavy is basically, I would say, like, my alter ego. I created her back when I was in high school, and she's the life of the party. She is so fun. So fun. She is like the more like extrovert part of me that you would say because I'm very introverted, quiet, but if I want to get wild, I'll get wild and that is Queen Wavy. So that's her. Let's see. Let me just do a little mini like get to know me since some of you do not know me. I am Canadian and Italian, was born in Montreal, Canada, moved here to the States I've moved around places, I've lived in Boston, and I am now in Texas. I like the cold, I love it when it gets cold, it's so nice, but only for a little bit. I'm so used to the heat, and I do really bad with the cold, that I just, I just need to be somewhere like where it's warm, or like a, a nice temperature. If I ever lived back in like the East Coast, um, I wouldn't mind it because it's kind of like second nature. But I definitely just don't want to do winters anymore and snow. And uh, just taking snow off your car before you have to go to work is the worst thing. And you have to heat up your car. It's got to melt, you know, the ice or the snow. Then you got to take the time to scrape it. So, like, you have to get up, like, ex no, not for me. Not for me. I had to get my notes out because... My head goes all over the place, and I'm just going to lose track. So I definitely want to make sure I get all my points out that I want to make sure I talk about today. So, yeah, so that's where I'm from. Um, I do speak fluent French. I actually work in French, all in French. I'm reading in French. I'm writing in French. Now, writing in French is extremely hard, and because I did not grow up in Canada, I moved to the States when I was two. I didn't really get to learn how to write in French, and it's so complicated. I took French in high school, and it's <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing to say because I'm so fluent and I can read it, but I ended up failing in my second year of French, the second semester, because of the writing portion, because of how hard it is. So that's a little background on, you know, me where i come from my blood i obviously i love makeup i love music i love fitness i love a healthy lifestyle love fashion obsessed with fashion oh my god let's just say if i could i'd be shopping a lot i honestly like don't even own a pair of sandals isn't that crazy 
I don't even own a pair of sandals. The only sandals slides I own are the Ugg slippers. You know, like the infamous like Ugg slippers that everyone has. They're so comfy. So if you were thinking about getting a pair, definitely get it. Um, I have the pair where it's got the thick rubber underneath so I can walk outside, which is super cute. But that's the only pair of sandals. Other than that, I only have heels and sneakers and like my Doc Martens. And last thing about myself, because I really don't like talking about myself, in case any of you guys were wondering, that's into astrology because I am into astrology. My sun sign is Pisces, moon sign is Taurus, and my rising ascendant is Scorpio. So those are my three mains. I do know my chart. I don't know my houses. I'm not going to get into it. This is not not here to talk like astrology 24 7 but i'll definitely get into it for sure because i do like it but i'm not like i have tarot cards and stuff like that but i still don't know about houses like that's still kind of like harder to it's not harder to grasp but it's just taking like a little longer to kind of like understand like the houses because it's it's really in depth you definitely want to check out your houses when you're reading your chart that's a really good thing because it tells you about like your aspects and life and basically like just go read it i'm not gonna get into it because i don't want to tell you the wrong thing either <laughs> all right so let's get into this juiciness the last few weeks has been crazy like what is going on what is going on right now in the universe like what the heck so, the first thing I'm going to talk about today is the alien body cam footage that was found in Colorado by the police officers. Obviously, it wasn't found. It was recorded. Duh, Julia. Use the right words. Hello. Why do I keep saying Colorado? It was in Vegas. So, April 30th of this year, 2023, people got footage of something basically falling out of the sky, making a big boom. There was ring footage that caught something truly falling. They don't know exactly what it is. That's why they called it a UFO. And it was like this big green thing kind of like shooting down from the sky. The video honestly reminded me of when, you know, in Lilo and Stitch, when Stitch comes onto Earth and is ship is like crashing it's like this lime green stuff or when he crashes like lime green gook stuff that comes out yeah it looked just like that and i was like oh my gosh is stitch coming here like i need to go get him because i love stitch but no it's not stitch apparently they're just aliens boo who and then not long after people got the video of something falling from the sky there was a 911 call made from a family saying that while they were in their backyard um and they were just like hanging out they saw these like tall creatures standing like like a little like further back in their yard around like eight to ten feet tall with like these big heads and like big ass eyes and everything and like the cop even told the kid like hey if you see them again <laughs> don't call me because I, i'm i'm not coming he's not dealing with that and that's crazy that spooked the cop so much that he really said <laughs> i'm not messing with that for real like no and i don't blame him sorry if i saw an alien we just maybe do like a peace sign i don't know i don't know how i would handle it like i think i kind of would freeze i wouldn't know what to think I would probably pinch myself maybe to be like, wake up. Like, are you, did you like accidentally like, like, did someone like spike your drink or something? Like what happened? Like, why are you seeing this stuff? Like, hello, wake up. Like, that's an alien. With that being said, do you guys believe in aliens? I heard that one time that the Canadian government actually confirmed, and you can go ahead and look this up on Google, they actually confirmed that there's three species already here on earth of aliens and they gave the names and i'm going to tell you guys the names 
So here is actually a list of the aliens that are here. And it does include reptilians. So I'm just going to tell you the list of like aliens that are on here. So everything that's not human. So the first one is called Flatwood Monster. It's a tall humanoid with a spade shaped head. So I'm guessing maybe that that is what they saw in Vegas. Because the guy said that they're 10 feet tall. That's tall. That's really tall. 10 feet? That's like this. That's like how tall like this wall is. There's the grays, a gray skinned humanoids, usually one meter tall, hairless with large heads, black almond shaped eyes, nostrils without a nose, slits for mouth, no ears, and three to four fingers, including thumb. Grays have been predominant extraterrestrials, beings of alleged alien contact since the 1960s. But see, one meter is 3.3 feet tall, so... That's short, but that's saying that that's actually the Roswell incident. I don't know exactly what the Roswell incident is, but I know there's a lot of stuff regarding Roswell and alien encounters, so I definitely would have to check that out, but I'm not talking about that today. So, moving on. Hopkinsville Goblin. (laughs) What? This sounds like something that's true (laughs) now. out of a movie or like a book it sounds like something that's out of like a um like a a stephen king book doesn't it it's a small greenish silver humanoid greenish silver like chrome like a greenish silver greenish silver what color would that be of course we have the one and only little green men The green humanoids, even though a few abductions have referred to green skin, no report has ever involved anything that would fit the classic cultural stereotype of little green men. They are included here only for cultural reference. Okay, so they just put them because people just call them that. So these I know are one of them for sure too that the canadian government definitely said as well i know they said the flatwood monsters they said the grays but here it's listed as nordic aliens but i remember that they called them the tall whites and i remember that specifically because i was like tall whites just gives me chills down my spine and it makes me uncomfortable like if i saw something regarding this description I would just, I think, like, shit my pants. Because this is just, like, creepy. So, they're humanoids with stereotypical Nordic features. Tall, blonde hair, blue eyes. And have featured in several cases of contact. It is said that they are from ancient Earth, but present themselves as ETs in the past. They move from living on the surface to live underground under the Himalayas under after a natural event that is just like if that's real like my brain like doesn't know how to like take that in i watch a lot of things on aliens because it just makes me extremely curious i keep an open mind for everything because we live on a planet in space and anything is possible like literally anything like you never know you truly never know and a lot of stuff is hidden from you there's actually a government agency that is specifically for dealing with aliens and it's called a tip and it was released to the public not long ago but it was kept secret for a very long time there is a lot of stuff that they're not telling us so this one is not something that i've heard the The first three that I've told you, Flatwoods Monster, Greys, and the Tall Whites, those are the only three that I heard the Canadian government say. Um, And the American government, it was actually confirmed in the A-tip description, too. That's what they did say. Um, But don't take my word on it because I'm not on the A-tip website and I do not have their paperwork in front of me. So it's just from 
things I have watched, like from the History Channel and stuff. So we're going to keep going down to see what else is under the alien description. Because honestly, like, I'm really curious. Okay. So this makes sense. Like, folklore, like, mythology creatures. They're called, I don't know, this was the name of it. Cryptozoological animals. Wow. And cryptobotanical plants. That's cute. So it says it's including those from folklore, religion, mythology, um, dwarfs, like giants from Atlantis, um, ghosts and poltergeists. And so obviously it goes into the description saying that some claim that many of the alleged real creatures from the 14 archives and related reports of anomalous phenomena are actually of ex- extraterrestrial or mixed origin, such as in the extraterrestrial hypothesis, the interdimensional hypothesis, or the crypto-terrestrial hypothesis. Sometimes these creatures are associated with the occult or with essential... Wow, I butchered that word. Hold on. Eso... Terrorism, or linked with supernatural or paranormal phenomena. Others dismiss these explanations in favor of skepticism, cultural tracking, or the psychosocial hypothesis, such as in cases of mass hysteria. Obviously, duh, a ton of people do not believe in aliens, and they do definitely don't believe in mythology creatures, and they for sure don't believe in ghosts. And then... Second to last, we have reptilians and reptilioids. So we all know that. Tall, scaly humanoids. Reptilian humanoid beings date back at least as far as ancient Egypt with the crocodile-headed river god Sobek. The reptilian conspiracy theory has been advocated by David Icke. Had no idea. I knew about all that reptilian stuff. I think that's absurd. I don't think there's people on this earth that are actual reptiles. I don't. I think that's kind of forcing. But, hey, to each their own. Last, we have rods or skyfish. This, I've never heard of. I don't know what this is. Elongated visual artifacts appearing in photos and video recordings sometimes claim to be extraterrestrial beings generally thought to be caused by motion blur from flying insects. Okay. Well, then that's just the terminology for that, I'm, I guess. So that's interesting that there's truly like three specific aliens that they have listed. And I think it's really crazy how they go like in such in depth with these creatures and even where they're from. Like the Nordic aliens one, the tall whites. Tall, blonde hair, and blue eyes. That is a white man from Sweden. <laughs> like, like that would scare me. That would scare me because I know they're not cute. I don't think they're cute. It doesn't say that they're cute, and they're saying that they're ETs. ET is sort of cute, actually. ET's not that bad. Honestly, if I saw ET pull up, I'd tell him to come in, and we can have, like, some coffee and chat. I'd ask him questions about space. I was watching, um, I don't remember exactly, I should start writing this stuff down so I know what to reference, it's so bad, but I was watching a video regarding aliens, and I saw the conspiracy regarding Antarctica, it said that, you know, a long, long time ago, it's proven, basically, that Antarctica was not frozen before, everyone, a lot of people know that, it's on very old maps, older than, like, maps that were created, you know, when people are like we're colonizing stuff and everything like maps from like the 1500s and it shows antarctica like south america connects to antarctica and it keeps going and it's not ice but there is a conspiracy theory that antarctica because no one's truly like gone like through it they're just at the edge they think that like the middle is it's like a wall and there's stuff that live and there and those are where the aliens come from and that's why they just can get here like so quick and their technology they're building their technology and there it's like a whole 
different world. And it's really strange. I might be butchering the explanation. You guys might be so confused. And I'm trying my best because I watched the studio a while ago. And it was just so intriguing. I was like, what? That's so that's so weird. Aren't aliens supposed to be from space? I did watch a really good... It was a couple hours long. It was like four hours long. And it's on YouTube. It's on the History Channel. And it's... Basically, they had a whole series about aliens. It's really cool. You're talking with people that are actually that were in a tip that left a tip and they're trying to figure this out because people who work in the Air Force have actually experienced witnessing unidentified objects in the sky following them that look like they call it one of them looked like an actual little pill like a tic tac they actually call it a tic tac it's just crazy to see that you know actually the united states is not the only people that keep dealing with aliens so now let me get back to ghosts and i want to know if you guys believe in ghosts if you guys believe in the paranormal and poltergeists and spirits and energies and i'm a firm believer in ghosts Ever since I'm young, I've been experiencing many things. I'm going to go and tell you guys a little story. Growing up in Boston, I love it to this day. I'll never forget the house my parents got. was built in the 1880s. Very old house. Lots of history. My room, obviously, there's a closet. Duh, it's a bedroom. And my bed was sort of, like, facing the closet. My bed was, like, in the corner. Let's say this is my bed and I'm against the wall. My my closet was, like, in the middle of my room in front of me. Directly, like, in front of me. So, if it's cracked open with the way it opened, I could see inside. I never felt comfortable in my room. I never liked it. I never did. And I always saw this woman. There was this woman that was there. And she stayed in my closet. She lived in my closet. So I saw her all the time growing up. And I didn't feel... I just felt uneasy. And I just... I was like a little scared sometimes because she had really dark hair. This is gonna sound like it's straight out of a horror movie. And I'm really not making this up. This is not from like... Um, what's that movie when she crawls out of the TV, you know, like, you like, what is it? I can't think of it. Someone will think of it. You know exactly what I'm talking about. I think it's, is it the ring? Um, so yes, she had really long black hair. I could not see her face. It was as if like her hair, like covered everything, like just came out and it was like super long and, and covered her. And she was wearing a white gown. She was everywhere. She roamed around all the time. My mom told me we were in the kitchen. And the kitchen that we had had like an island. The the island separated the kitchen part with the sink and the stove. And the door to the basement. So I'm sitting at the counter, you know, doing my little kid thing. Whatever. I don't remember This was told by my mom. And basically, as I'm doing my stuff, my back is to the door. And the door to the basement is fully open. And my mom's cooking. And she's talking to me. And I go, shh, mom. The lady's sleeping downstairs. And she goes, what lady? And I go, like, the lady. And she goes, what lady? Where is she sleeping? And I'm like, she's downstairs. She's sleeping on the last step. Like, that's creepy. My grandma has even told me before that one time when she was staying there, she came to visit. And the whole family, we went somewhere. I think we, like, had something. I'm not too sure. And she stayed home. And she said that as she was watching TV, she saw a woman with long black hair and a white gown come down the hall, turn the corner, and go right upstairs. I said, oh, that just confirmed, like, everything that I've been, that I witnessed and went through, and the fact that even, like, 
she saw it. Yeah. So left Boston, moved here. You know, I thought, wow, like I'm coming here. Everything's going to stop. You know, I'll be free from her, blah, blah, blah. Was definitely free from her. Um, but I did not know what spirits were. I did not know what it was. And I did not know that maybe I had this gift, like people say. I'm not a medium, but I can definitely sense spirits. I've been touched. And it's not in a bad way. I was going to sleep one night and I was closing my eyes and I was trying to sleep. I couldn't sleep. I like, was having a hard time falling asleep. And I was laying down on my side and I just felt like someone went like this. They took their hand and they just went like this and like squeezed a little bit and like let go. Kind of like letting me know that like I'm okay and I'm protected and I'm safe, which was really nice. But to feel like a whole hand on you, on my thigh, like I felt like this. Oh, it's different. It's really different. It's it's really something. But I, I was not scared. I went to sleep and I knocked out and continued my day. Yeah. So that's like my experience with ghosts. All right. Since we're on the topic of ghosts, let's talk about Ocean Gate. Isn't it crazy how imploded where the titanic was and like to build a submarine not have it checked by a third party like to make sure that it's safe you're building it with an xbox controller that's gonna navigate it haven't you seen any other submarines there's no submarine in the entire world that is navigating the ocean floor with an xbox controller Excuse me? I'm sorry. If you're telling me that I'm paying hundreds of thousands of dollars to sit in a submarine where there's an Xbox controller controlling the thing, it's not made with solid metals that are truly used in submarines to keep the pressure away from you so you don't explode and you're bolted in there. There's not like a, a hatch or anything. Like, force comes to worst, like, you can't just like, I don't know, put on like scuba gear and open the hatch and stuff. I have no idea. <laughs> That's crazy. And I feel the, the, the saddest for the the youngest, the, the student who was there because he only went to please his dad for Father's Day. And I can't imagine how the mother is feeling to have lost her husband and her son. I wouldn't want to be here on earth. I really wouldn't. I don't know. I pray she is doing her absolute best and hopefully seeking help to take care of her health through these hard times while grieving and everything. Everyone who lost their loved one that day, I just pray that they're taking care of themselves at least. And now there's conspiracy theories where people are saying that like they faked their death apparently, like they truly like weren't in there, they acted like they were in there, but when they were put down, they didn't go that deep and it was like a dupe sub that they put and the dupe exploded and <laughs> I don't know. I'm sorry. I think that's kind of like extreme and like pushing it because I don't think a 19-year-old would want to fake their death. I don't think anyone would really want to fake their death. Like, really. I I just, I don't know. People just want to, like, pull things out their ass and just make things up. And it's, it's crazy. But let's go into some more lighthearted topics because that was a little dark. But I really wanted to talk about that because it was, there's so much that happened in the last two weeks three weeks and i really wanted to talk about it so cocaine found in the white house whose is it is mr biden and kamala getting like a little lit in the white house you know what i'm saying after all that stuff honestly i don't think so we all know biden is still trying to you know walk up the stairs of air force one you know i'm trying to make it without tripping you know homie he's got it you know Let's go. But 
poor thing. I really do hope he just like he should have a walker. I don't know. I guess he's the president, but poor dude, like he's tripping. I'm just like looking at him as like like an older man. You know, he's he's human. Let's treat him with respect. He's still a human, even if some of y'all do not respect things he's done. And I don't get into politics. I really do not go into politics. Like, but yeah, Coke in the White House, in the library in the White House. Who brought Coke in the White House? I know Snoop smoked in the White House. He snuck a blunt in and took a few hits. He lit it in the bathroom. He said this on Drink Champs. And he lit it in the bathroom and he took a few hits and then put it out and then burnt a piece of paper and like put it in the trash. So you couldn't really like smell it. And but Coke, they're never going to find out whose it is or they might because of the cameras. I know that the White House is full of cameras. It's got to be, especially in every single room. There's got to be at least two, at least two. So I know they're going to go into like most likely a deep investigation to try to find out like whose is it. But like, I wonder like, what are they, what are they going to do? Would they like truly press charges? Cause like, I don't think anyone like just slipped on the Coke and like snorted it. No one really got hurt. They just like found the, the Coke and they're like, oh, it's in the White House. Why is there Coke here? Yeah. I just can't wait to see honestly where it goes. Cause that's kind of funny. I was like Coke in the White House. I'll never touch that. I'll never do Coke. I will never do hard drugs. I will I will never do that. That's crazy. I will like to each their own. And like, if you're doing that, like just please be careful. And I would suggest like you stop because it's really bad for you. Please all hard drugs. If you're going to do anything, smoke some Mary Jane. You know what I mean? Maybe drink some vino or have some Casamigos, you know? That's cool. But, like, no. Snorting lines, doing that stuff, no. Kiki Palmer, this girl, Kiki, I'm obsessed with Kiki. She's just been, like, such a hot topic lately. And this girl, like, I loved her. I grew up on her watching True Jackson VP, and I've always loved her. I always thought, like, she was so funny like a little like silly quirky and i just loved it and now seeing her like all grown up i just love seeing all like the childhood stars grown up and like where they went like it's so cool wherever they went you know amanda Bynes, she's got her stuff going on i hope she does well and finds a way out of that really dark place i i really do and it's sad to see the child stars that just go down that path it it really sucks to see but kiki girl kiki's killing it and i'm obsessed she's so stunning and ever since she had her baby boy i just like wow that that mother glow on her is just you know what I mean? Like, oh, she just looks so good. Like, I, Kiki, you just go, girl. You are that bitch. And she knows it. But I don't think her man knew it. Because if y'all saw, when Kiki went to go see Usher, she wore this, like, bodysuit mesh dress. So she was wearing a dress where it was, like, a bodysuit. But then, like, The lower half and the sleeves were all mesh. So you could see booty, thighs, arms, and all that, right? Now it's, like, huge. Like, right now, like, it's, like, a trendy thing to wear dresses where, like, they're kind of see-through, you know? Like, every almost everyone's doing it. Shoot, like, Dua Lipa just did it on the red carpet for Barbie. She's wearing, like, a crystal stuff. And honestly, like, Rihanna, she's, like, number one for, like, doing that and... So, she looked amazing. Kiki looked amazing that night. It's clear from the video that her and Usher are friends. And everyone seems to forget, like, that was negative about Kiki that night. That, like, she's truly, like, an entertainer. That's what she's been doing her entire life. No matter what. So, when she knows that she's out in public and there's cameras, she's going to put on a a show. She's going to be entertaining. She is Kiki Palmer. Have y'all seen the interviews that she's done? Please go watch them. Like, this is who she is. And 
I think her man, like, didn't realize that when he decided to be with her and have a kid with her. He really got on her because of that dress. He said that because she's a mom, she shouldn't be wearing that. I'm sorry. Excuse me? She popped out a whole baby with you, sir. So, what? Who cares if she's a mother? That's Kiki. What were you thinking? You think Moneybag Yo is trying to, like, make Ari, like, smaller? Hell no. He lets her do her. He's like, I'm dating Ari. I'm not going to sit here and, like, try to change her. And Ari's a mom as well. And it's okay. Who cares if you're a mom? You're young. Enjoy yourself. Just because you're a mom, you don't have to, like, turn into a grandma. And if anyone is trying to, like, put that in your head that you're a mom and you should be, like, dressing differently, like, no. Obviously, there's boundaries. But she didn't look like a gray ho. She didn't look, like, dirty. She didn't look skimpy or anything. She looked so good. That dress looked stunning on her. Body, yaddy, yaddy, going crazy all the time. Like, why... I would have been like, ooh, baby, you look so good. I can't wait till you come home in a minute and I get to take that dress off you, blah, blah, blah. Like, what is wrong with that? Why are men so insecure? I don't understand. If you're insecure and you're dating a beautiful woman, please do not date her. Please go get lower your standards by like 50 and go get you that girl. Because us baddies, we need a man that can handle our baddie self and we're not gonna sit here and make ourselves little for anyone especially a man she's not there like flirting she's not there like sticking like her booty out on him like trying to like dance on him no like she's clearly it was clear like she's like joking around maybe something was like going on because she like made like videos before and people are saying like maybe kiki like maybe they were arguing or something and kiki was doing things to maybe just to try to get under his skin i just think it's absurd and it was taken too far and i just like love all the girlies like giving men shit who like were trying to back him up and like commenting onto their pictures when they're just like in like like shorts shirtless and they're like you're a dad like you shouldn't be like like that. Like you're a dad. You shouldn't be here in shorts shirtless posting on the gram or out in public. Like what the heck? It shouldn't matter. Especially if you're in like a really like secure relationship. Like you need to if you're going to be with someone, you need to be with them because you love them for who they are and you're not trying to change them and you're gonna love them for them and you're gonna even love their flaws and if there's things maybe like that bother you like speak on it if you're interested in a girl and you're like drooling over her right and you like or have a crush whatever you're trying to get her whatever and she's posing a certain way she just some way right she slays she's killing it she's got like she looks amazing she's got a great personality everything right and y'all end up dating right you you snatch her while like lucky you're like that one lucky guy and she decided to like choose you right and she didn't have to but she did and then y'all start dating and then you start complaining on how she's dressing and you want her to change how she's dressing Uh uh-uh you better pack your bags and get out because you should have gone into her life knowing that that's who she is. You've been following her for so long and you liked it. You were commenting hard eyes on her pictures. You know what I mean? And now it's like, oh, you look like a whore. You're a slut, you know? It's this and that. Um, you didn't think I was a slut a couple, a couple months ago. You're all up on my Instagram. What happened? What changed? You think ASAP Rocky is trying to tell Rihanna what to wear? Oh! Oh, no. Rihanna would be like, you know, ASAP, I love you so much. But, you know, I'd have I'm going to have to be a bad gal without you. And just because you wear something that's a little revealing doesn't mean anything. And it's definitely not an excuse for you to talk down on a woman. All right. And last but not least, since we're here talking about clothing and a woman, let's get into Barbie. The Barbie movie is coming out next Friday, July 21st, and I am all here for it. Yes. Will I be 
the girl going to the movie theater in all pink, makeup fully done, heels, probably skirt or a dress, and like, and it's all pink. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. And I will be her. I will be dressing Barbie for this. Um, I'm usually brats, but this time I will be Barbie. And I love all of Margot Robbie's press, like the movie press and like the premiere stuff that she's doing, all the outfits that she's wearing. <gasps> she looks like a real life doll. And I love how they're just pulling out outfits from the archives, like a Versace and oh my gosh, it's perfect. It's perfect. And she's like the perfect person to play Barbie too. Like she's just so great. I, I love her. So good. I really can't wait. And Ryan Gosling as Ken. I saw he actually was like kind of sad. Like he had to like drop Ken. I think I don't remember exactly what he said. And I was like, oh my gosh, like he really enjoyed this role. Like that's like that's so cute to see, you know, because a lot of guys are so weird about Barbie. They're obviously like there's Ken and someone had to play Ken in the movie. And the fact that like he enjoyed his role, I was like, I love that. The movie is going to be great. I love how they're. Having her go from the dollhouse and she floats into the car because no one walked their Barbies to the car. We just took our Barbies and put her wherever we wanted to. Oh, my gosh. I had so many Barbies growing up. They made a yellow Corvette for Barbies. And <laughs> my dad got it for me. And I've always loved cars. But yeah, I love that Corvette. I would have loved to put like my Barbie like on a remote controlled car. That'd be cool. Oh, my God. On a boat. Barbie is coming out next week. I'm going to see it. Who is also going to see it? So that is the end of episode one, you guys. Honestly, really thankful that I'm here and able to do this. And I'm finally sitting here with you guys and able to talk with you. And I really can't wait to see where this goes. You guys have no idea how excited and how happy I am sitting here and talking with you guys right now recording it feels like second nature it really does i'm very comfortable and i thought at first i was going to be nervous talking in front of the camera but i'm not i feel great i will be posting every single friday so definitely keep an eye on everything Make sure that you go ahead and subscribe. Go ahead and let everyone know that I'm podcasting. Send the links out to everyone. It doesn't matter. Tell your friends, families, pets, anyone, your neighbors. doesn't matter. Let everyone know, hey, Juliet's back on YouTube and she's podcasting. Yay! I'm going to give myself a little hug because I'm proud. <laughs> All right, you guys. I love you all so, so much. Thank you so much for the support. If you're already here supporting this, I love it. And yeah, time to go make myself some dinner because it's already 8.30. I've been recording for like an hour and a half. It's time to get some food in my tummy. I never touched my protein cookie or my water. It's time to go drink this water, hydrate, and just make some yummy food. All right, guys. Much love. I will talk to you guys soon.